This is my kitchen floor. This house is built around 1990 and I expect a lot of you probably have some tile floor like this. Even if it's not, I'll show you how to make your tile floor look like a new on the budget. Here's some photos that after work and before. Can you tell us the differences? And after again. So my first idea was cleaning rub, so I found this item. It has two different brushes like this. Well, actually before that, I wanted to completely work on installing new tiles. Like remove everything with hammer or using some other equipment. Like how I did with my laundry room. But after my kitchen makeover, which I did my backsplash replaced and cabinets replaced, painted, installed hardware, and especially making new floating shelves got me super exhausted. I got a new table saw and router, so I needed to learn how to use them myself. I didn't want to do too much work again, so that's how I ended up just cleaning tiles. Anyway, let me quickly show you how to change the hat. And it comes with 4 AA batteries. It was pretty stronger than what I thought, and here's some close-up for you. You can basically use any cleaning product, but I use sodium carbonate mixed with water. I liked this brush, but the result didn't come out as much as I want. At the end, I just removed all grout. But for some of you who may still want little more simple ways, this brush is good. I'll show you the result with this brush in a bit. The brush is good for concentrated spot, but it's too small, so I use this big brush to clean tiles. Here's a result that just simply cleaned by using brushes. This part did not clean, so you can compare. Clean. Not clean. Finally, here I'm gonna use this multi tool to remove old graft. I already had this, but if you need to get a new one, it shows around $150 for a kit. You need to press hard here to attach your hat, and yeah, this roundy blade came as a kit. So this is the box, comes as a kit, it has triangular sanding pads, and a hat you can attach. And a cutting blade. It's literally multi-tool. Here's some photos that I used different times. So I've got an idea that using this roundy blade to remove old and dirty graft. But as you can see here, it wasn't working very well. It was taking off too thin. And then here I found this blade specifically for removing graft. And you should get this shape too. It's so useful for corners and edges. Here's some details for you. Just some extra. I think I needed to get two more of this at the end. A comparison between removed area and not removed area.
because I was afraid of some dirty grout left shows even after putting a new grout. I made sure to remove all dirty grout like this and I found that this is a really necessary step because it really shows at the end if you don't remove them all. Now I'm gonna put a new grout. I already had this, but if you want to get a new one, this is about $14. If you're not confident about how much water to mix, you can also try a paste style that already mixed with water. Sorry, I lost some footages here. But instead, these are some footages that I filmed in laundry project. Once you put the new grout, you should clean it with water before it completely dries. So now, let's see how much it costs if you have nothing. So I have a list here with the items that I mentioned and the total comes around 300. Please consider this is just a brief calculation. And also remember, if you use these items not just once, like a multi-tool and sponges, then that means that the total budget is eventually under 300. This is it. This is my idea and some mistakes about how to update Thai floor on a budget. Hope you enjoyed this video and bye.